Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Cosmina and in today's video we are going to do an old-fashioned get ready with me and we're gonna talk a little bit about my past, a little bit about how I grew up. So if you're interested in that, also we're gonna apply a bunch of makeup on my face <laughs> while we're doing that, but if you're interested in that go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so I'm gonna go first with a glossy touch and sole balm, I believe this is, glossy skin balm, because it does, keeps your skin very moisturized. But I wanted to do a get ready with me for a while. I was just not sure what do I wanna talk about while I'm doing my get ready with me, you know what I mean? Um. But I thought, you know what, why not talk a little bit about how I grew up. Uh, I was born in Romania in 1989, the year when the communism died. And um, I grew up in a, I would say poor, I consider it a poor family. Uh, we had almost had... Um, everything we needed but it wasn't like I knew exactly what everybody else was having in the same time like I grew up poor but I wasn't aware I was poor that makes sense I hope it does <laughs> um so we always had a roof over our head and uh we always had some sort of food on the table, but that's because my parents did almost the impossible and worked themselves so much in order to be able to provide that. All right, so I'm going to go with Butter Pecan 330 N from Huda Beauty, and I do like this foundation. It is very easy to maneuver and glide and just put it on your face and especially i'm going just to the grocery store i don't need a very sophisticated makeup look so like i was saying um yeah i grew up in kind of like a poor family um we did had an apartment that was my parents apartment um that's because in the communist area when we were in the communist, I mean, I wasn't, I didn't grow up in the communist era, but my parents did. So if you were working at the canal, I think it was called, uh, you would get an apartment and uh, the, you will get a, an apartment for cheaper and it would be easier for you to purchase it. So that's what my dad did by actually when I was born, he was working um, at the canal. So he was not able to come and visit me until I was three months old. So they earned that apartment before, before 1989 when the crazy, the craziness happened. You know what I mean? Um, also, my grandmother had... Um, I would say a mini farm, if you want to call it like that. Had some chickens and some crops and uh, geese, cows. I mean a cow and two pigs and things like that. You know what I mean? Uh, which was very common back then to have. Very common. But I'm going to do for my under eyes. I'm going to go with Charlotte Tilbury Medium. Um, this is the magic something corrector. Um, so I'm going to put this one under my eyes. Yes, I did clean my fingers before I started this uh, video. I usually always clean them. Up until I was 13, 14, I was pretty happy kid. Nothing major. We don't have... We didn't have running water back then at the countryside, um, and that's where I basically spent most of my summers and most of my vacation time. 
it was over there the apartment that we had in the city which was like maybe 20 miles away from my grandmother's house um it was uh we would stay there basically when we would have to go to a uh, school but most of my vacation time i spent it at my grandmother and we would work our ass off to make sure we maintained the crops we took care of the animals and uh, we were taught everything that we need to know about what to keep a farm going you know how to keep a farm a mini farm going the farm was not selling it to anybody it was just to maintain basically you would make food you will put food in the thing to eat it yourself you know what i mean that's that's why i call it like a mini farm because it wasn't necessarily something that we would sell we would just make the crops and keep the animals and anything just for us to be able to eat them usually it was like major major holidays or major events something like that we will um butcher one of the animals i'm also gonna add this uh cream blush from uh, fenty beauty this is in the query deep i not sure uh why but this one does not look exactly how i thought is going to look like so in the pan it looks pretty orangey but on my skin when i put it last time it looked pretty pink so i'm not i'm not sure why is that why is it transforming into a pink and uh, that was pretty interesting um but yeah we'll see if now it's more like an orangey well i put it a little too low but it is what it is right now i'm just gonna keep doing that anyway i wanted to see to talk a little bit about some of my favorites um uh, memories that i had because i just remember recently i was talking to my husband about the joy of growing up in 1990s and uh, exactly uh, the discoveries that we participated at uh, while we were just growing up, you know what I mean? So we were talking about things like that, and I was like, oh my god, yes, I remember when my dad purchased that color TV when I was a kid, and my husband was like, what do you mean the color TV? I was like, yeah, do you, do you, did you had it before? Like, I, I don't even know. Like, for us... Everything was black and white. Um, TVs were only black and white until I was maybe, uh, I don't know, nine or so, eight or nine years old. And uh, I never knew that, a, that a, a color TV even existed. I was not, I, I again, like I said, we were poor, but we weren't aware we were poor. So I wasn't aware of what was out there. You know what I mean? So I remember vividly this memory. Like, it's just like it happened yesterday. And this happened a long time ago. But more than 20 years ago. Holy shit balls! I don't even want to think about it. But what happened was that my dad took the um tv that we used to have the black and white one that was not working too well and he took it to the repair shop and i remember one night he came home and he was like telling my mom that we all have to go in the car and go to this place right because he found an awesome thing and he wants my mom to go there and check this out. And he wants us to... Anyway, I'm sorry. I had to stop for a second because my dog started barking like lost his shit. I don't know why. There's nothing happening outside. But I'm going to go with this uh, Veil Translucent Setting Powder under my eyes. And use a little bit of this to set under my eyes i'm gonna add a little bit so i was saying before my crazy dog interrupted me i was saying that 
my dad came home and told my mom we need we all need to go to check this thing and i remember we went we all went, went in the car i'm saying we because i do have another a sibling a sister so it was me my sister my dad and my mom and i remember how happy my dad was like the joy the happiness he had on his face uh while he was driving us over there and i remember them going inside we stayed in the car and coming out with this box right which was a smaller box than our original tv and uh he brought it home and installed it and he was like so happy so happy that he was able to afford to buy that second hand tv because it was a second hand tv um he was so proud of himself that he was able to provide us something so sought of from like a lot of people um at a, such a an amazing price because i guess it was a bargain i have no idea how much it was how much he paid for it or whatever um i'm gonna add a little bit of this all over my face too but he was so freaking proud of himself for that and i was so shocked so shocked to see that tv can come and go <laughs> I, if you're like 20 years or younger, you'll be like, what the hell are you talking about? Um, but t let me tell you, the joy of growing up in 1990s, I don't think you will ever experience today. It is insanity. All the new discoveries and all the new things that were coming out and the fact that we got to see all that right in front of our eyes and just like kind of deal with everything it is insane it is insane to me i know there's people that like for example my husband he had his first computer i think when he was eight or nine i had no idea what a hell a computer was until i got to um uh, high school uh, when i went to high school there was this thing that you could it was like the info class um which is like the tech class and the only thing we did in that class is like learn how to play counter strike which was a stupid game um with like guns and trying to shoot each other whatever bullshit like that which i'm not i don't like it i don't like anything that has um uh, violence like that so that was the only thing i knew about computers i i was not aware of anything else. i have not i this is hard to believe but when i was 19 and i went to this big city to go to college back in romania we went to bucharest uh when i got there they were like oh yeah give us the contact right to the contact number uh, a phone number and also an email and i was like what the hell is an email i don't have such thing i don't know what is an email so i was 19 years old and i didn't have an email my first computer it was purchased by myself um and it was purchased at 21 years old uh but i had a good friend in uh, college that helped me out with set me up with um with <laughs> set me up with an email address and also set me up with the messenger for yahoo um also she created my facebook account no it wasn't a facebook it was high five before <laughs> And then we, uh, she created my Facebook, but a little later, it was high five. Um, 
I, it's insane. The way I grew up, it's so different than my husband. It's like, it's absolutely crazy how big of a difference is between the way we grew up. You know what I mean? It's, it's insane, but I would not change it for anything. I don't care if I didn't got crazy presents because I didn't. I had three dolls in my entire life. Three dolls and maybe six stuffed animals, but that was it. I have not gotten anything else. There was there were no other toys that I received as a kid. Nothing else. Um, I had cake in my childhood for like maybe for my birthday because I didn't have birthday parties. But I had cake maybe two years. But that was it. <laughs> so I that's just kind of give you a little bit of an idea. I never had a bike. My parents never bought me a bike. I never had roll blades. Uh, that was like no, no, no. I never had necessarily crazy toys or things like that. Like, I never had huge, crazy material things. You know what I mean? I'm trying to look around to see if I need a bronzer. Okay, I'm going to do this one from Fenty Beauty. Do I have another one? I don't think I have another one. So, I'm gonna, just going to do this one. <clears throat> Just gonna add just tiny bit. I don't want to go too crazy. Like I said, I am only going to the grocery store, which I look at the blush now. It looks really, really pretty. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of this and just kind of go over here. But yeah, I never had really crazy material things in my childhood. I don't, I don't have these things like. But I did, my dad purchased me a cell phone when I got to the high school, um, when I got to high school because he was so proud that I made it to an amazing high school. I know high school criteria are different here than in uh, Romania. Back there, you have to take these exams and in order with the grade that you took from your exams is gonna decide what on where you're gonna be able to be received. <laughs> it's kind of like it's kind of like college, but not even college, because here college is different for you than us. But it's like you have to prove that you can go into that specific high school, and when you get to high school, you have to choose what major you're gonna go for and i went for foreign languages so it's it's interesting um so he was so proud that i made it to such a prestige high school that he bought me he did the impossible and bought me a uh <laughs> bought me a cell phone i'm gonna do my brows uh now i just do my brows really easily i do have this one from revolution makeup london and i just go a little bit like brush them through and i fill them in really fast but uh what i'm trying to say is that i didn't have a lot when I grew up, but one thing that I did had was love for my family. I had a lot of love for my parents. I have always felt that I was, I was the light of their eyes, um, both me and my sister, but I always felt their love. And I think that was the most important thing that I can take from my childhood. And I hope to be able to transfer that to my kids um, without like trying to shower them in, in all these materialistic things because they don't, they don't, they don't matter. At the end of the day, you're not going to remember all these 
crazy toys, especially if you have like a millions of them, right? If you're gonna have all these crazy toys, I don't know, sometimes I wonder how do you get to um, appreciate what is being given to you if you have so much? How do you get to that point? Like, how do you appreciate it? I don't know how you appreciate it. I mean, my I my parents always, always taught us to appreciate things. They always told us how hard they work for those money to be able to afford it. And we just knew, we were aware of the fact that we were lucky to have certain, these things in our life. Although there weren't crazy amount of things, but just to be able to have those, it, it was something that my parents never had. You know what I mean? Like my parents grew up way poorer than we did. Way poorer. Uh, so... It is, it is interesting. It is very interesting to just kind of see the difference and your parents reminding you uh, to be grateful for what you have and to appreciate what you have. And sometimes I feel like that's, that's being a little bit forgotten nowadays. Um, and I just hope that when I will have children of my own, I will be able to remember to tell them uh, how much I love them without showering them into gifts. You know what I mean? Oh, I'm going to add a little bit of um, Jaclyn Hill Loose Highlighter in Amped. There was something else in my childhood that it happened that I would say for me was was the time when I became a little bit angry and it was the time when I realized that money has a huge impact on humankind, I would say. Um, so my parents left the country uh, for better opportunities, I would say. They went to Greece. My dad left first. He was, I was 15 when he left. And then my mom left second. And I was 16 when she left. Um, like, at this point, it wasn't like we needed much of, much of them to grow up. But it was still needed you know what i mean like you feel a little bit of abandoned at this point um i understand why they went there they went there to provide us a little bit more stability financial stability but that takes away the the family union you know what i mean so it took about two years until i was able to see my parents again from 16 i mean for my dad i had to wait three years uh, but my mom, 16 to 18, when I was 18, that's when we went to Greece for the first time and we visited them. Um, who took care of us was my grandmother. For lips, I'm going to do something interesting. I'm going to go with this uh, coffee and cigs. <laughs> really, that's what it's called. Love me lipstick from MAC. Um, <laughs> cigs. Really? <laughs> uh, if you don't know, I finished, I quit smoking two years ago. Uh, but this is pretty, pretty funny. That, that's the name of it. I found this at TJ Maxx. I usually don't buy from Mac because um, one time when I went into their store, uh, the employees started laughing at me. I just, I just walked in and they were laughing at me. They looked at me, pointing and laughing. I started laughing. So uh, I did 180 degrees and I left. I was with my husband. I was not wearing makeup. Uh, it was, uh, I think I was, I was just in the U.S. for like three or four months. And we went to the mall. So 
we went to Sephora first, but then Mac was next to it. So I was like, let's go to Mac first. We'll see what I'm going to buy from here. And then we're going to go Sephora because I never been in a Mac store before. So, and I heard so many things about it, but uh, again, I was never able to afford Mac before. So when I went to the store and had this girls all made up and pointing at me and started laughing, I was like, what the fuck is this? What is this? You know what I mean? And my, my husband was like, oh, just don't pay attention to them. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to give money to these bitches. I'm leaving. So we, I left, you know. Um, yeah, I said it out loud. I'm not, I, you, you cannot. Listen, I wasn't bullied in my life. Or maybe people tried to bully me, but they can because you cannot do that to me. I, I will shut you down. <laughs> okay. I will shut you down. <laughs> Before you can say anything, okay? Um, let's do a little bit of Tati Beauty. I had this in my collection for so long. And I have not played with it that much. I forgot I even had it. But I want to do something very simple. So I'm going to go with Aura right here. And I'm going to do that all over my eyelid. But yeah, I don't... Uh, maybe bullies are free, are idiots. You know what I mean? Like, don't allow anybody to bully you. But the way I felt, you know, when they were laughing at me and pointing at me, I don't know what the fuck I was having that they were pointing at me for and they were laughing at me. Um, but I was like, really? This is what? the retail is in this goddamn country how is that even possible you know what i mean so i went online to check what people were talking about it right like if they experienced the same and they did oh there were so many people there were so many people that have experienced the same sort of treatment from uh from mac employees so Ever since then, I was like, never. I will never give my money to a company that treat people this way. So never, ever. I've been into a Mac store ever since. This has been like six years ago. And never purchased anything from their website or anything like that. This thing, I found it at TJ Maxx. And I was like, I'm going to try their lipstick just to kind of see... If it's really that good how people are talking about. And to be honest, I don't see anything special about it. Alright, I'm going to go with Story. And I'm going to put this one, I'm thinking, yeah, on this side right here. Because these people don't understand. Like, I had money when I went into that store. I had money that I stored closely just to go in and create because I didn't bought I didn't brought any makeup from Romania so I wanted to start from zero right so when I went into that store I had money I had money stored especially for going into that store and buying my makeup and to receive laughs and to receive like and trying to and like make you feel little and make you feel like shit fuck you okay fuck you fuck all of you that were at that max store that day fuck every single one of you bitches all right there we go and then i'm gonna go with uh i'm gonna go with this one yeah i'm gonna go with metallic from story the metallics in this and this uh, palette are not quite like a normal metallic, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna try to make it work. All right, that's, a, that's pretty cute, right? I think that looks nice. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Ritual, um, just to kind of add it a little bit under my eye. 
And there we go. I'm going to add a little bit of mascara. I'm going to go with this one from Makeup Geek. I have used this one quite a while and I do actually like it. The only thing is this one is more lengthening than voluminizing. And I do really enjoy more of a voluminizing mascara than a lengthening but it is pretty nice actually it's pretty pretty nice and it does offer you a little bit of a, a curling effect as well talking about bullies and stuff uh I know there's a big problem in here about bullies and being bullied in school. I don't know why people are doing that. I don't understand it. I don't, I don't, uh, I don't get it. I just don't get it. I don't get it. I did not have to experience things like that. I was, I did experience a little bit here in US when I went for my, um, I was doing my schooling for esthetician and they tried, they tried, but it doesn't work with me. You know what I mean? Like it just doesn't work with me. They tried, they tried to exclude me. They try to make it like I'm the weird one. They try to make it, they try to make me feel some sort of way. They try to, they, I even had this girl that was, she was a Hispanic girl and she was like, oh, you're the, the typical white girl and I was like uh, girl I'm darker my skin is darker than yours what the hell are you mean by I'm the typical white girl and she was like oh you think you deserve everything but you don't deserve shit and I was like ah what do you mean I don't deserve shit um if I can make that possible I'm going to make it possible, baby, even if you think I'm, I deserve it or I don't deserve it. Oh, yeah, you don't. You just think you're the best and you're not. You're not shit. I was like, oh, uh, well, that's your opinion. Sorry. I think I'm the shit. <laughs> I know, I know. It's kind of crazy to see the mentality how different it is. Um, I'm not saying there's no, um, there's bully doesn't exist in Romania because it does, but I didn't have, had to experience it as a kid. I was not a popular girl, but I wasn't popular either. I was friends, I guess, with the semi-popular ones, I don't even know. Um, but not necessarily the be the most popular ones in the school. I never been friends with them. But I had my group, which was pretty amazing, and we never had problems. For me, high school was the best time of my life, and I made some amazing friendships that I even have today. Okay, so here it is. I'm going to add a little bit more of this lipstick on my lips because it just kind of they not align perfectly. There we go. I'm going to set everything with my Morphe spray. I am getting at the bottom of it. I'm trying to finish this up. It takes me a long time. And I'm leaving my fiery red down, the red hair down. <laughs> this is a very crazy color that I have in my hair. But I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or I'm going to change it. I really have to wait anyway right now because I uh, cannot put any hair color right now in it. I have to wait because I don't want to destroy my hair completely. But yeah, this is a pretty crazy hair color. Um, the hair journey video is not going to be up until, I don't know, maybe next week, I'm hoping. Sometimes next week. 
because I want to see if I'm gonna stay with this hair color or I'm gonna go for a different hair color. And if I do get for a different hair color, um, I wanna put that in there as well. But right now it is this crazy red color. Do you like it? I don't know. I don't know, is it too crazy? Maybe. <laughs> a little bit. There you go. This is the makeup look that I came up with. Please let me down below. Let me know something. Um, let me know if you ever been bullied. And also tell me your favorite, favorite memory from your childhood. Let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. And I will I I will send all the love towards you and hopefully it's gonna help you um forget any hardships that you're dealing with right now in your life um and any loss that you're dealing with i hope everything is okay with you and i'm gonna send all my love to all of you thank you so much and i will see you all next time bye